I've, I've talked a little bit about this in the previous um, lesson, uh, previous um, presentation. So make sure that you advertise and you, you state what you offer. So um, more in a sense where now, okay, well, I offer a reading that's this long, that takes um, this amount of time, uh, that happens at these sort of times, and um, they cost this much so that people understand how much they pay, um, what is the time limit that they have to work with, uh, so that they can set their schedule as well. They can they, you manage how the expectations of what they're going to get for what they pay, so they can really see well if it's worth it or not for them, or for how they can do it. Um, okay, so this is really about scheduling and and making sure that you understand, you know, what you're capable of. The other thing is make sure that you don't overload yourself. Uh, I find that um, if you do uh, a couple of readings in a day. Um, you have to have like a bit of time in between. You can see that if I have a three quarter hour reading, I can get a schedule at say 10 a.m., 11 a.m. and then the next one would be at 12.30. Um, this is just so that I can get a break um, to go and make something to eat and maybe um, go and sit and you know disconnect properly. Um, I would say if you do two readings, it's not so bad, but if you go to a third one, it starts to get a lot. So then have a good break between and then you can go again, but then um, limit the amount that you do per day. Um, you cannot do a massive amount of readings per day. Um, some people do go for about three hours. I think three hours is a lot. Um, they do readings for three hours, then after that they cut it off. I know tarot readers, they they have a different way of working. So if you, if you want to go more in tarot reading, um, you can actually do a bit more. If you make this connection and you do the energetic type of work, uh, you are going to be limited about how much you can do. So. So I don't think you can work the entire day for eight hours every day. It's not going to be that simple. The next one is that you, um, if you do remote readings, um, okay. So if you work at a place and make sure that the, you know, the environment is um, suitable, so that it's may maybe nice and quiet, that people can get a respectful reading, and that then there's no interruptions. Um, you know that you they can sit do the reading and um, you know the time is respected and. They're very comfortable in the place that they sit, so you have a decent chair for them. You have a good place that they can sit. Um, they have nice quiet. They can, they have the ability to maybe write down or make notes, or you can have a recording done for them. I think recordings work really well, so you can record for them or allow them to record. Uh, when you use technology, uh, make sure your technology works. It means that you um, make sure that your battery is charged, that you have good connection, and also make sure you have a backup. So I have. Currently, um, I've got um, two um, different date. Well, do a different network providers on my phone. I've got um, two different network providers on my internet. So um, I actually have four different options right now. So if I if I had to um, have a problem with the connection, I could actually change over to a different connection, and they're completely independent. So um, make sure that you have this set up, and just just understand that. Um, if you have something that works really well and it fails now and again, you have your refunds policy policy in place anyway. You can reschedule, so um, just understand that that's possible and that's a possibility. So um, make sure that all these things are set up. People understand you've got your schedule. People understand how much how much time they're allocated, what the cost is of it, so that and then also understand that when your time runs out. Um, you can have like a little clock or a ding or something that comes up that you know your time is finished or you can have a kind of a reminder set on your phone so that you know that okay when your time is about up so um, if you don't keep track of time well um, make sure that you keep track of time and that you can get done in the right time so that you are ready for the next um, person so if you have somebody to help you absolutely fantastic if you're part of a group of readers then you know, they can then manage that. So when the time's up, they can then call you and say, listen, your yeah, time, almost time. And then uh, you can get your reminders that way. So um, it's going to take a little bit of navigating to get this right, but um, it's not there, not really very difficult.